Genetic Engineering and the BT Toxin by kscience.com. This here is a bacterium called Bacillus thuringiensis. This is the plasmid DNA and this is the chromosomal DNA. The bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis was discovered to produce a toxin that killed the larvae of insects and it didn't affect humans or other organisms. So the BT toxin gene was discovered in the bacteria. So we call it the BT toxin because BT stands for Bacillus thuringiensis. Bacillus thuringiensis. And this here is the BT toxin. The pink dots. So as you can see here, the BT toxin was sprayed on these two plants to the left, not on the plant to the right. So this insect larvae, examples are caterpillars, if these insect larvae eat the BT toxin crystals, they're going to die. So this here is a dead insect larvae. On this plant, there is no BT toxin. This means that the caterpillar will not die if it eats this plant. Insect larvae can eat these leaves without dying. This will reduce the crops that the farmer produces. Insect larvae can eat these leaves without dying. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So the bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis was seen to produce a toxin called BT toxin. So scientists identified the gene responsible for making the BT toxin. So they use genetic engineering to remove this gene from the plasmid of the bacteria, the BT toxin gene, and then they get the chromosome from a plant, and then they insert the BT toxin gene into the genome of the plant. So as you can see here, this chromosome in this plant cell has the BT toxin gene in its genome. So every plant cell in this plant should now have the BT toxin gene in it. So if all the cells in this plant have the BT toxin gene in its genome, this plant will now produce the BT toxin in its cells. So there is now the BT toxin in all of the cells in this plant. So each cell will now produce the BT toxin. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So the two plants to the left are BT crops. They are genetically engineered plants with the BT gene in the plant's genome. Whereas this plant on the right is a normal native crop which has not been genetically engineered. It does not have the BT gene in its genome. So these two plants are going to produce the BT toxin. Whereas this plant on the right is a normal native crop. So if all the cells in this plant have the BT toxin gene in its genome, this plant will now produce the BT toxin in its cells. So if insect larvae feed on these plants, the BT toxin is ingested by the insect larvae and it dies. And the crops are not eaten. However, crops without the BT toxin being produced you'll see far more insect larvae, like caterpillars, eating them. So there's no BT toxin, and the plant leaves are therefore eaten by the caterpillars. And it is only insect larvae that are affected by the BT toxin. Humans are not affected by the BT toxin. But we don't know the very long-term effects of the BT toxin to humans. However, insects such as ladybirds, spiders, and aphids are not affected by the BT toxin. This is because they don't chew on the cells of the plants, whereas caterpillars chew on the cells, ingesting the BT toxin. So these pests can still eat the leaves and not be affected by the BT toxin. 
This is why farmers will still use some pesticides on these plants alongside the plant producing its own Bt toxin. But it will need less pesticides. So it will use pesticides but it will need less because it is not targeting the insect larvae because that is being killed by the Bt toxin. This here is the use of pesticides by a farmer. If you use a Bt toxin, you'll require less pesticides being sprayed on the crops. So the Bt toxin increases crop yield and less pesticides are needed. There are some concerns. Farmers could be worried that the insects become resistant to the Bt toxin, and that would mean they've bought a lot of expensive seeds but they will not work because the insect larvae will develop a resistance to the Bt toxin and then eat the plants anyway. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.